All right, here it is. This is a 1985 Series 1 Garbage Pail Kids box. And supposedly every card in here is a glossy back card, which are much, much rarer than the, uh, than the regular matte backs. So we're going to go ahead and rip this thing open, see if, uh, see if we get any gradable cards in here. All right, let's see what we got. Nice and well wrapped. Extra well wrapped. And there we go. Nice Series 1 box. These are slightly more expensive now than they were when I was growing up. When I was stopping by and paying these, buying these packs for 25 cents a piece after school. But uh, the fun doesn't stop. It's still a good time opening these things. Guys, out row by row. They'll cooperate. There we go. Try to keep them in order. Ran over some of the uh, some of the bubble wrap there. Anyway, so now what we're gonna do go ahead and inspect inspect the edges here. I just want to make sure that they all have a similar fold. Try to do our best to make sure that they came from the same box. Obviously, it's a, not an exact science whatsoever, but we do our best. Now, I know from the seller that a few of these had the, the backs popped, since there's no way else to distinguish if these are, uh, are glossy or not without actually opening or being able to see inside some of these packs. So that part has been, uh, they have informed us of that part. Anyway, <clears throat> I'm going to move that. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Look good. All right. Might have to hang up the garbage pail kids poster here in the office. There we go. <clears throat> Unfortunately, PSA or Beckett don't quite have a holder big enough to slab this thing, but it's still pretty cool. Might have to frame that and hang it. Anyway, enough of this crap. Let's open the box. So you'll have to forgive me. This is the first time using this uh, this little video cam here. Just bought it about an hour ago. So hopefully the angle is decent enough. We can get a good look. I'll do my best to uh, make sure you guys see what's going on here. So there we go. Looks like that one popped a little bit. Those are glossy. 
now we're actually, believe it or not, going to be careful with the wrappers too. Because people actually buy the wrappers as well. And it makes it uh, makes it last a little longer. Have a little more fun this way. Thank God the gum isn't sticking. Oh, look at that. First card, Adam Bomb. <clears throat> Not bad. Looks a little... Uh, little gum damage unfortunately decently centered card yeah that one's not gonna work but well so the good news is that this first pack at least is centered which is anybody garbage pill kids or know that knows garbage pill kids knows that these things can come pretty jacked up as far as miscuts and off centering and all that good stuff. So obviously we're we're only one pack deep, but uh, that's a good sign so far. You know, I'm gonna mess with the wrappers later get this party started. It's going to take too long otherwise. Alright, well, Mad Mike. Well, I have to say, these cards are coming out damn nice. Wow. Very sharp cards. This is where <clears throat> this is where the gems come from, everybody. Unfortunately, the top card's got a little gum damage again, so... <clears throat> Get the gum out of there. If anybody wants... 27 year old gum or whatever it is 26 year old gum feel free to message me I'll save it and I will send it to you free of charge Wow well wow, these cards are coming out very nice very nice Now what I didn't realize until I found the seller and spoke to the seller who had this box is that apparently the glossy back or the matte backs, <coughs> the boxes are always consistent. So before when I had opened these apparently I had opened uh, patched together boxes because I had pulled glossy and matte back cards out of the same box as before, but uh, after speaking to a couple of the sellers, that um, that does not happen or should not happen. So I'm sure it's can't really see much of a difference here on the uh, on the camera here. It's more one of those things you got to feel it, but uh, the glossy and the matte backs are a big difference. You can definitely tell once you hold one in your hand. Uh, they are also, the mats are, or the, excuse me, the glossies are also a lot more expensive. Because they're a lot harder to, uh, a lot harder to find. Nobody really knows what happened, but everybody, the general theory and accepted, uh, accepted, uh, explanation is simply that they ran out of the matte cardstock and then, uh, used what was ever sitting around the warehouse, which in this case was, oh, there we go, Blasted Billy. Ooh, that one looks pretty nice. Look at that. Let's see what the back looks like. Huh. A little bit of wax, but nothing a little, nothing a little pantyhose won't, uh, won't take right off. In case you didn't know that, if you ever have wax stains, that uh, have not actually stained the 
card stock that is just literally like candle wax on top of the uh, on top of the card you can actually wipe that off with a pantyhose or even a sock or any kind of a eyeglass eyeglass is a, a little handkerchief thing anyway well, cards are coming out nice and centered that's all you can ask for Yeah, again, for whatever reason, that top card seems to each time be getting uh, a little bit of gum damage down down here on this side. Oops. Sorry, guys. Try to <clears throat> hold these a little bit better for you, so everybody can get a get a good view and see what's coming out. This one is stuck, unfortunately. And just peel it off a little bit, but <clears throat> unfortunately, the damage has been done. You can see that there. So we seems like we're sacrificing one card per pack here. Uh oh. This must have been one of the. Uh, one of the well, it's not one of the popped ones, just a little miswrapped, but it's all right. It happens. It was 1985. Exactly. Uh, this wasn't exactly the number one seller for tops at the time, or they didn't think it ever it would materialize to be, I should say. So I'm sure they just uh, did whatever they had to do to get this thing out the door. If I remember correctly, I remember uh, reading somewhere that initially these were tested in New York, in New York City at first. Series 1 was primarily, I'm sure it was in other places as well, but that was one of the test markets. It wasn't a nationwide release as, uh, as the subsequent series would turn out to be. Very nicely centered cards, if you can see. Very nice cards. Nice and sharp, sharp corners. These will do. These will do very well. Probably end up at PSA, but you never know. I might do a. Might throw a few up over at Beckett. <coughs> Looks like we got a Adam Bomb or a Billy. We don't know which one yet, so we'll get there. Nice. Again, just the, the green jean messed up there on the side from the gum. What do we got? Ooh, Adam Bomb. That one is pretty damn nice. Wow. Not bad, folks. That is a beautiful card. No wax, corners look solid.
very, very nice card. That's nice. All right, all right, guys, we're happy. <clears throat> we got a centered atom bomb. Now, if we get really lucky, we'll get a centered nasty Nick, and we'll have the top two cards in the set. Uh, there's me, Fry and Brian. The jacked up corner, unfortunately. Uh, nothing you can do about that. <clears throat> Which means I'll have to keep that one for myself, actually. Oh, there we go. Little Billy, unfortunately, is the first card, so it means the gum has jacked it up. That's a shame. That card is dead not centered. Melton, Melissa, which one is that? These are just great cards, just awesome. Very nice. These cards are coming out fantastic. <clears throat> yeah, crap. It's all over the top. There we go, another one of me. Definitely in better shape. Now what's interesting that I notice on these is that uh, the theory being that the glossy, that the tops ran out of the, the proper cardstock to uh, to continue making the matte backs, so they used the glossy back. However, <clears throat> which we would assume would happen towards the end of the print run. However, these packs are the 25 cent packs. Um, the 25 cent packs, the ones that uh, had the 25 cent on the on the top there, are actually were actually the first run that was uh, that was released, and. Uh, I believe the second or subsequent run, whatever it was, was um, was made without Nasty Nick. Oh, that one's a little crappy. A little beat up on that one. That's all right, though. I'm sure we'll get another one. Um, anyway, the um, later the subsequent rounds were were printed without the 25 cent price. Uh, 
price on the pack so that uh, retailers could could charge whatever they wanted. Not bad. Obviously, we gotta make sure the corners we can get the cards out without dinging up the corners on the way out. That's unfortunately where a lot of a lot of damage happens is happens just in the way that people take out the uh, cards from their packs, which is a shame. Evil Eddie, jacked up from the gum. Oh, another atom bomb. Ooh, good lord. Another one. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, nice, and it's a checklist back. There we go. Now there's a couple of variations between the atom bomb the Blasted Billy, and can't remember the other two off the top of my head, I don't know why. I'll remember soon, but anyway, they have two different backs, and there's a checklist back, and a...